It takes one and one fourth yards of material to make a pillowcase. The fabric costs three dollars a yard. How much will it cost to make four pillowcases? So the first step in this problem is going to be to determine how much fabric we need to make four pillowcases. And then once we know that, we can determine the total cost at three dollars a yard. So we want to make four pillowcases and each pillowcase will take one and one fourth yards of material. So the total amount of material is going to be four times one and one fourth yards. So to multiply these, we'll have to have them both in fraction form. So I'll rewrite four with a denominator of one and then we'll convert four and one fourth to an improper fraction. So we'll have four times one, that's four, plus one, so we have five fourths. We're going to go ahead and leave the units off for right now. Notice how this simplifies nicely. Now we can multiply one times five is five, our denominator is one, which means to make four pillowcases, it's going to take a total of five yards of fabric. And since it costs three dollars a yard, the total cost to make four pillowcases is going to be five times three, or fifteen dollars. Notice how I left the units off when performing these calculations, but I do want to show you how we ended up with fifteen dollars here. The cost would be equal to five yards times three dollars per yard, which can be written as a ratio. So notice how if I wrote this over one, the units of yards simplify out, leaving us with a cost of just dollars. So sometimes leaving the units in can be a little bit more involved, but it does really explain where the units come from in our answers. If your car gets 29 and one fourth miles per gallon of gas, how far can you drive on one third of a gallon? Well, this mileage here is per one gallon of gas. So if you want to know how much you can go on one third of a gallon, the question really becomes what is one third of 29 and one fourth? And of means to multiply. So we need to multiply one third and 29 and one fourth. So to do this, we first have to rewrite 29 and one fourth as an improper fraction. So this will be one third times, to convert this to an improper fraction, the denominator will stay four. Our numerator is going to be four times 29, which is 116 plus one. So this will be 117 fourths. And before we multiply, we should try to simplify. And it may be hard to see, but 117 is divisible by three. The reason I know that is because of a divisibility rule. If the sum of the digits is divisible by three, then so is a number. So since one plus one plus seven is nine, and nine is divisible by three, so is 117. So 117 divided by three is equal to 39, which means we can rewrite 117 as three times 39, Notice how the three simplify out. And now when we multiply, we have one times 39, that's 39, and we have four in our denominator. So this represents the number of miles that we can drive on one third of a gallon. But let's go ahead and convert this to a mixed number. So we'll take 39 and divide by four. Well, there's nine fours in 39. Nine times four is 36, the remainder of three. So 39 fourth is equal to nine, and our remainder over our divisor will give us three fourths. And the question is how far can you drive on one third of a gallon? So this would be a distance, and the distance would be in miles.